One of the great things that people say about the island or about Bermuda's Bermudian hospitality, they'll say, oh my God, I met so many great people and I ended up at somebody's Bermuda home and they invited me into their doors. We ate, we had a great time. And so we created this concept in the UK titled the House of Bermuda. Mm -hmm. And so we took over the penthouse floor of the, the Hoxton and created a Bermuda house. Um, I mean, we offered, we brought in Bermuda chefs, we brought in Bermuda storytellers, we had a um, we had a mini golf stand where people can do the pet putting for the mini golf. And then we had a virtual reality moment as well, where people can see dive our shipwrecks and you can actually record and see the wrecks as well. And so that was a great moment of meeting, meeting people where they are, but giving them a, a, a taste of what they would experience if they were to come to the island. Welcome, my name is Greg Lacharty. Along with being Vice President of Partnerships for Worth Media Group, I'm also a professor at Fordham and Seton Hall Universities, where I teach marketing and business strategy. And I'm honored today to be doing this interview for the eMarketing Association with a special guest, Jamari Douglas, who is Vice President of Marketing, Public Relations, and Communications for the Bermuda Tourism Authority. And... Um, Jamari also, he doesn't like me to share this all the time, but he also just completed his MBA at NYU, which is so impressive. He went at night. How, <laughs> how, how long did it take you, um, it took Jamari? Two years. I did Fridays and Saturdays. I was on the executive MBA uh, side. So it was a Friday mm -hmm. and Saturday every other week for two years. So I am excited to be have, have completed it. <laughs> well, it's, it's shining through, through the great work that you're doing for Bermuda Tourism <laughs> Authority. And thank you so much for your time. It's Bermuda is a dear place of, uh, for me. I went there on my honeymoon. Nice. I was there back several times. And there's to me, there's no more beautiful place and beautiful, warm people than in Bermuda. So oh, I love to hear really that. Really special to hear treat that. to have you today. <laughs> really. Uh, and actually, at Worth Media Group, we covered the top ten beaches in the world. Yeah. Uh, and St. Catherine's Beach was one of those beaches. Oh, thank you. Very, thank very you. excited thank you. about it. Really grateful for the partnership. Thank you. Yeah. So it's funny, Jamari, last week I was down in the meatpacking district and I see this like hourglass and it's pink. I'm like, what is that? It was yeah. really cool. And then I, I went up to it and I saw it was an installation you're doing with JetBlue. Yes. And it was amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about how that came about and how it's doing for you? Thank you for inviting me to be on the show. I, I am truly grateful and appreciative of, of that, Greg. But getting back to the to the activation, we wanted to really get our proximity message out. Bermuda is a 90 minute flight from JFK and yeah. a fun way to just remind people that Bermuda is this quick flight away. And I was thinking like I wanted to do a, a run, a competition run to the island or, you know, a time clock that goes. And then that got started. Like I said, what if we had an hourglass with pink sand and it flipped and it did us all this cool stuff. And the team looked at me uh, kind of crazy. And I thought, <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a pink hourglass, <laughs> a pink sand hourglass that's going to flip and uh, brought it to the team. And they created yes. and executed uh, impeccably. I was impressed myself with just like this crazy idea of this hourglass. And now it's actually here and where they were moving it around. And then when they actually flipped it, I said, oh, it actually does flip. And so I was super proud of the team to, to help that. Amazing. Out. How long yeah. is the installation going until? So is- um, it, it was the wrong- it was a weekend. Um, so we had it over three or four days um, there. So it was a quick weekend to get the message out. Uh, and and we had, it was quite successful as well. We had over 5,000 registrants and it wasn't just the hourglass, uh, uh, hourglass at the meatpacking. It was, uh, we had an online um, online portion of that. We had digital ads running. And there, so it included many different elements. So it was a huge, huge uh, media mix of, of activities that we were doing, the work we were working on. And the collaboration with JetBlue, which is probably your biggest airline from the metro area going to Bermuda, would you say, or one of the uh, big? Well, we have most of the airlines that come to Bermuda. So we have American Airlines, Delta, JetBlue, and United. And so we're, we're fortunate in that we have the major airlines, all of them fly with direct air service to the island. Yeah, but it, I think the, the collaboration with JetBlue, I'm sure they're promoting it as well. 
Yeah, for sure. They they were they were able they were our partners right with, from the very beginning, able nice. to come down and offer the free trips for the people that were actually signing up for the trips. They hosted uh, a couple of things on their website, um, did some of the promotion on their social channels as well. It was a really fun collaborative project of many people thinking, how do we make this happen and where it is? And then once everybody got on board. It was just, it just, it was executed well. So I think that mindset, the timing of this and, mm -hmm. and seeing the hourglass and seeing the pink sand is mm -hmm. so powerful. And I know this year and last year, you had this campaign going in the Hamptons as well, yeah. which was like, why wait in traffic when you can get to, to Bermuda quicker than going? Yeah, through? that we had these messages back in, we, we had them at train stations at one point, um, speaking about how long it took to get to the Hamptons or, you know, the Hamptons, to, or you can go to Bermuda in 90 minutes, or you can be stuck in traffic. And then they had these billboard blockers um, on the way into the Hamptons. I said, I want that, whatever it is. I was driving it and I said, whatever it is, I want it. And we were able to put a cheeky message. You could have been in Bermuda by now. Um, and there were people who actually stopped and said, you know what, we could have been in Bermuda by now. This is ridiculous. And so, um, you know, not taken away from the Hamptons, uh, Hamptons folks, but I think Bermuda's, it's be the beach offers are a little different. Um, yeah. we're excited to, uh, to, uh, to have that promotion there. Great. So it's obvious that that campaign and even the one in, uh, that you're doing now, Meatpacking, is targeting uh, travelers who would likely maybe stay local in the New York City area to get open their mind to go into Bermuda, which is so close. But overall, what is the target consumer like? What is your most sought after traveler to Bermuda look like? So in Bermuda, we have four main, main target personas um, that we have. So that was done through market research. And our target personas are de uh, defined by our national tourism plan. So there's the adventure seeker there. Uh, that is the 18 to 34 seeking fun adventures. And then we have the culture enthusiast, um, which is going to be a little bit older in the mid 20s to around the 30s, mid 30s. And they're, you know, they travel with another couple and they want to seek those cultural moments around history and food for our island. And we have our jet setter audience, which is gonna be a little bit older, the affluent market. And right. they are looking, they're arriving on the private jets and 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 enjoying the island of some of those exclusive um, activities there. And then our golden boomers as well. And our active families are also included in that. So the multi-generational family. So we're, we're pretty much, we have a, a marketing plan and a target for each of those, an immediate plan, excuse me, for each of those targets and really have content that speaks to each of them because Bermuda serves all of those markets very well. Um, mm -hmm. And we know that through research and through content, through people keep on coming back. And so uh, those are the main targets that we have there. Amazing. I'm actually writing a book right now titled Achieving the Holy Grail of Marketing, Optimal that, Marketing. That's really exciting, yeah. writing a book. And, oh. and that book is, it plays into what you're just sharing. It's about the ability to reach the right person with the right message at the right time in the right environment, delivering the right outcome. And, mm -hmm. and you're certainly doing that with your campaigns you're doing now in the New York metro area. But is there another example um, of how you're, you're striving to achieve that holy grail of marketing with your your marketing efforts. Yeah, I think globally we are we are in we're operating the UK market and we have not been in the UK market for some time and we wanted to create one of the the great things that people say about the island or about Bermuda is the Bermudian hospitality. They'll say, oh, my God, I met so many great people and I ended up at somebody's Bermuda home and they invited me into their doors. We ate. We had a great time. And so we created this concept in the UK titled the House of Bermuda. Mm -hmm. And so we took over the penthouse floor of the, the Hoxton and created a Bermuda house. Um, I mean, we offered, we brought in Bermuda chefs, we brought in Bermuda storytellers. We had a, um, we had a mini golf stand where the people can do the pet putting for the mini golf. And then we had a virtual reality moment as well, where people can see dive our shipwrecks and you can actually record and see the wrecks as well. And so that was a great moment of meeting meeting people where they are, but giving them a, a a taste of what they would experience if they were to come to the island um, and giving people some, some insight into what Bermuda feels like, tastes like. And we had our entire team there and we were able to really just tell our Bermuda story and with that Bermuda hospitality. We got some great business from that as well. So wow, that's one of amazing. And I think that plays into what you guys are doing so well, that experiential marketing, you know, yeah, getting, I think it's so you know getting them to 
like you said, a taste of it, mm -hmm. wetting their appetite to go to Bermuda with these incredible activations. Yeah, um, you pique their curiosity by doing things that they're not used to seeing and um, and not used to seeing and being a part of. And I think that's that's what our team does so well is coming up with these ideas that are authentic to our brand, that are authentic to our culture and taking that and just naturally being ourselves in these spaces. And it's worked. So I'm super proud of that, um, that it continues to do that. So that'll be the holy grail of marketing. Wow. Well, congratulations, Jamari. So where's your happy place in, in Bermuda? What do you like to do best there? Or if, oh. if I was asking you, I'm going to Bermuda, like, what are some things you would tell them to do? What What is it that you get most excited about? Okay, so oh goodness, where do I start? I, I can I can <laughs> trip, right. That's the other thing about Bermuda. Don't tell a Bermudian you're coming to Bermuda because we will plan your entire trip and you will have to rewrite it. Um, but my happy place is in St. George's. Um, St. George's oh. is on the east end of the island and it is beautiful. It's where the early settlers first arrived on the island. So there's a lot of history there. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And so there's some history with the with the Brick, brick streets that people walk around, the museums, the streets are there. Uh, there's a town and people wave and say, hello, good morning. It's, it gives me very Beauty and the Beast where people are like, hello, good morning, good morning. It, it, that's Bermuda. And it that's is Bermuda. Town. The people are so beautiful and warm. Yeah. They really are. Yeah. Yeah, but in addition to that, there's Crystal Caves, there is, uh, there's the Gibbs Hill Lighthouse, there's the Royal Naval Dockyard, there's tons of museums and art museums. And then let's not forget the Pink Sand Beaches are beautiful and amazing, and you can dive in and get on a boat and see the island. Like I said, I can keep going and going and going, but there's tons well, of things. I know you have to get on a flight, and there's uh, <laughs> some weather coming through, so I'm not going to keep you, but thank you so much, Jamari. Keep up the amazing work you're doing. E-Marketing Association thanks you, and I thank you. And we look forward to seeing you back on the show soon. All right, thank you so much. Send travels, and we will see you soon. Bye.